Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. This will be part two on the 200 HP uh, Jet DFI computer. This is Reed computer. Uh, he contacted me where I spoke to him yesterday and uh, he approved the repairs uh, as far as I refreshed completely the computer. So I'm going to get close to it and I'm going to show you what I did. As you can see right now, I got the oscilloscope connected. It's uh, due to a speed differences, I make two scopes so we can see the CAN communication for the smart gauges if it's using that and then the computer running. I'm going to keep it running for probably one hour and then record the last uh, history which we can do that with Diacom. Uh, again, this that I'm using right here is Diacom Diagnostics. So in here, I can go over to the history and then read the last RPM when I am about to send this to him. So this is going to read full history and then fold, I mean, in, in RPMs. I will uh, always keep the RPMs. Uh, that's something that I don't erase unless the customer requests it, because it's always good to know, uh, you know, how it's been the both run as far as higher and lower RPMs. And we can see that in there. That's low hours, you know, for a boat, 244. That's good for a computer. Uh, that also can happen if you receive a new calibration, then you can change the hours if it's a fresh calibration to zero. All right, but everything is working good. One thing that I apply, which uh, I added to the repair without even asking him because this is a protection for the computer is this. This is a, a silicone modified conformal coating for those who wants to know. And this is what it does. It creates a layer of protection against uh, moisture, especially since uh, I replace all the drivers, pre-drivers, um, EEPROM, CAN transceiver, uh, etc. All right, so we can see those are here in there and those are right now covered in here but yeah so we are uh well, i'm right now let me just point so this has again uh regular injectors and dfi injectors there is a combination of drivers here and here and then we have the free drivers on the top as well um oil pump because this is a dfi engine is the drivers in here and this is the pre-driver we don't want to control that right here we got the can transceiver EEPROM and crystal oscillator, and obviously the main capacitors that are replaced with the repair. All right, guys, so again, um, let me stop the capture so we can see that better. I'm going to put, again, the oscilloscope. Let me go back to the last uh, screen so we can see more. Uh, probably gonna have to change the time in a little bit. Let me just see which one is the best. Because remember, it depends on when it's firing. Because what I want to show here at the bottom is the blue. That's the CAN communication. So the gauges will be communicating good. Let me recapture this. The yellow is a uh, tachometer. I might going to have to reset false. Again, remember, this is a control environment. And then I have, well, it's running 100%, but it still will be code. So this will sometimes kill injectors because of the same situation. So let me run that in, again in here. Make sure that I am connected is, is correct. Uh, give me one second, guys. All right, it's happening in one of the best captures, let's say. So we got green ESC activation, red is one of the injectors, and again, the yellow is the tachometer signal, and then the blue is the uh, can transceiver so everything is working a hundred percent what I usually do is and this is for his records and my records let me just put this onto one screen I usually just select the snipping tool on Windows and then uh, capture a complete screen and attach it to the folder like that he has that on his records and my records as well so let me say that onto his folder right so uh, we got it right here. So this will be, I want to save it as a JPEG and I'm going to set it as a idle values. And signals. Values. <laughs> values and sometimes they're hard just with one finger, right? With one hand and signals. Let me go a little slow so I can make it work. 
But yeah, just, you know, name it so I know exactly what that was. So he will have that on his records and my records. Uh, Fiber reference is all good. No issues with this. Uh, I'm going to keep it uh, running for, you know, because when it's running, you can see this is just it's got ali uh, scope aliases because of the speed of the signal on the can compared to the other signals. I'm in 100 milliseconds per division. So if I, if I wanted to see that can looking better, I will have to go probably around out on, let me see. Uh, take the zoom out. That will be important, right? So let me see. You see, if we go down to uh, that, and this is a combo signal, so we can just make it, uh, maybe five volts is correct. But yeah, you can see now how the combo signal is looking better, but now we cannot see any other signals because obviously the speeds are completely different. So that's why I have it up in the top, on the top, as around 50 to 100 milliseconds. Then I can see, because if I, what I had before here, it was a zoom on the blue channel. Then I can kind of like capture a little bit of that. You see, everything is right there. But again, let me just run the computer. Everything is working good. No issues with the computer. Everything, all the repairs weren't perfect. All right, Reed, so I will contact you shortly to send this your way tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, my last day this uh, year. Or, well, actually, no. no my last day this month here i'm going on vacation with the wife and my mother-in-law we're going to have some good time uh two weeks out so if you need to contact me just please email me i'll be out of town for two weeks and then i come back and if you want to send computers not a problem it's always going to be somebody here but i will not be working on the computers until i come back all right guys thank you so much for visiting the channel read again thank you so much for the repair uh, as you can see, I try to record everything, keep you up to date. I do the same thing for all my customers. And when somebody needs help, I try to record a special video like I did on the Ford, oh, sorry, on the Lincoln. And I explain how the system works and everything. I don't uh, cover anything. I know what I'm doing and I, I'm, I like to share the knowledge. I like to help others. So this is part of what I love to do. And again, as we say in Costa Rica, Pura Vida. Remember, Pura Vida is like everything is good. It's like, okay. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.